I would change something before the marriage. And I know that this would make him happy. Okay. I wish I met him earlier. Drum roll. I wish, I wish. Drum roll. Drum roll. I, I never say this again. <laughs> finally. Well, finally. I, I wish I met him earlier. I wish. Oh, I my beautiful wife. <laughs> oh, finally. <laughs> Stay <laughs> true. My name is Henrietta Thompson. And I am an artist manager and uh, I own a record label. And the music. She is Henrietta Victor Thompson, by the way. All right, <laughs> my name is Victor Thompson, an artist managed by my wife. Yeah. Okay, we've been married for three years and a month and a few days. Mm hmm. <laughs> How we met. Okay, so we met. First, we met in 2015. Um, 2014. What? 2015, babe. Okay. Yeah, 2015. Yeah, I remember very well. Yeah, so we met in church, 2015. She, she was sat just by, just behind me, by the choir stand, and I said hello to her. She didn't respond, and I like how the story always goes. I didn't know him at the time, and artists always have this kind of like arrogant aura. It is not arrogant. I was and just then, a star boy. And then I was and, just a star boy then, in church. And then, there. and then he said to me, <laughs> and then he said to me. Uh, Hello, ma'am. Something. Uh, I was just like trying a, to be co like a fur American accent, and I'm like, who is this Nigerian guy saying hello, ma'am? So yeah, I didn't answer. Anyways, but she was rude to me the first time. I wasn't rude. I didn't know you, and I, I felt like you, you didn't had, know me. You had like a celebrity aura. So I, uh, okay, uh, okay, no problems. I guess we're going to come back to this. <laughs> <laughs> so when we first met, we, we were not friends, but then I was in the choir, and he was the music director at the time, and so at the time. We both had um, relationships that we were in at that time. And so we were just friendly for the most part. Cordial, not friendly because, you know, there's loads of fights. You know, more on that later. Um, there were lo <laughs> loads of fights. Um, she was just fight. too stubborn. I wasn't stubborn. I was a strong woman and I had to fight for myself. And so... Um, 2015, he went back to uni, I think. And then 2017, he came back. 2017 ending, he came back from The Voice. Um, the Voice uh, Africa at the time. The Voice Nigeria at the time. And then we became closer in 2018. And then 2018 till now, I guess, we just haven't been apart. The ending of 2018 became closer. But romantically, I'd say more 2019 ending into 2020 yeah. into 2020 and then 2020 when he knew my husband is like okay let's go and then it was covid so i thought the covid is like let's go look for halls for our reception we're getting married and then he proposed and that's well, it well you heard you, you loved me from the beginning i, no, I didn't like him, no didn't. She, she she liked me from I the beginning I didn't, from I didn't. the very beginning no, i didn't if i what let me ask a very sincere question if i proposed to you no in 2018 Oh God! Before the world, before it, 2018, before have, the world, absolutely, babe. Absolutely, I would have said no. 2018. Oh, oh okay. I'm not I would have said no, no, no. no. Are you sure about this? Yes. Babe, you know, most times, to be honest, most times she will come and she will be like, "Why haven't I met you? Or why didn't I meet no, you I'm, early I'm, enough I'm, in my I'm, life?" No, I, I say it based on how I feel now. I wish I met that's you. What I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. At that time, if no, I, I would have said 2018, no. babe. And I said no. Okay, I will leave your conscience to that. I, my conscience no is problem. clear. And I said no. <laughs> no problem. So we met five years, married three years, but she was a little bit in love with me. But I, I, I was, decided to drag her to you. I decided some point. to drag her to you that time. No, I wanted no. to keep her no, to 2020. Well, it's all good. No, no. How, how did I know you were the one for me? So, um, I took my time, even though I knew in 2020 that she was the one, early 2020, that she was the one for me. I took my time because at the time I felt like I wasn't ready for, for marriage. I needed to put some things in order, put some things in place before I dive into marriage. So I was back and forth. Basically, you know? he thought he had to have some big money 
to get married to me. Yeah, because my yes. my wife is, you know. It's what? Hey! <laughs> <laughs> my wife is expensive. <laughs> Man has finished me. <laughs> so I needed big money. <laughs> you know, but um, it got to a point I came to myself and I'm like, you know what? Just get into this. Um, at the time, I was back and forth with, with God. I needed him to settle some things with me. But he kept telling me until you get married. And I told her I, in 20... When did I tell you that? 2018. 2018. Or 2018. I told her, I said, God wants me to get married, but I, I, I'm not ready for it yet. Then we we're friends. And I thought he would marry who I want. At, at that time, he wasn't someone that was kind of complicated, and I thought he would be the person. So I kept saying to him, you know what, maybe this is. I thought, like, if he'd marry that person, he would have money. And then when he has money, then, you know, we can, you know, eat from the money as, as a business partner at that time. Yeah, she was a business partner at the time. So, and the funniest thing was that even at the time I was back and forth with the previous partner I was with. She keeps putting in words for that person. Yes. <laughs> like we had issues, that's I'm talking about my previous partner now. We had issues and then she will come and be like, no, you need to, this is how to handle things, this is how to handle ladies. And when we have meetings with my business, when I have meetings with my business partner, with my previous partner, she takes me, she drives me to the venue. To, <laughs> to see the friend. Wow. <laughs> she was. In love with I me. wasn't then, at that time. That's not the question, babe. Don't worry. I'm not, don't worry. Don't worry. So, I knew she was the one 2020 beginning. First month 2020. But I just refused to yield until I came to myself and I'm like, you know what? Let's go get a hole. And I just told her, let's go see a hole. So, when they I saw the hole. And a few months down, the, you know, I was here a few months. I think two months. Yeah, COVID. No, it was, it was a long time because it was June and then we, we could only find a date for December. At the time, there were sanctions again and um, big crowds. And if you're Nigerian, you know this. Weddings, we did like a thousand, five thousand. So we had to, you know, wait until there was like a clear um, sanction, like the sanction was clear off us getting married in December. So we chose December fee. Yeah. That's, how, that's, that's your point of view? As, yeah, that's, that's my viewpoint. Okay. So how did you know? Oh, okay. Okay. How okay. I knew? No, I'm going to answer this. How did I know he was the one? Okay. You knew from the very beginning? No. No. 2018, um, when we started getting close, um, later on in the year, um, he, like, I, like he had said, had someone that he was, you know, um, hope planning to get married to at that time. And um, I just thought, you know what? This guy's already with somebody and I'm not the one to, you know, go and play second or do rebounding. Let this guy just go. So all that time I was just like back and forth with him, like speak to her. And then they'll be like, oh, they have to meet up somewhere to discuss their future and stuff. I'll drive him there, you know. Well, you were heartbroken driving him there. I wasn't. I was oh, like, my heart was completely intact. No, I see you. It, I my see the way you drive when you broken. take me there. No, I drove very fast. No, 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 no. So I would drive him there and then he would... Um, you don't he want would, to say the truth. Be a bit that's truthful. the honest truth. That's the honest truth. Okay. And so he would go and see, and then I would just go, I'm like, oh, how did it go and stuff with them, you know? And then 2019 ending, I started feeling like maybe, maybe not. What made what what, what made you feel like maybe, maybe not? Because because you had my back, and I and so I had a back from the very beginning. <laughs> you, you, yes, I would give can you can that. Can I say something? Can I say something? People, how can you not let me speak? No, you no. This is my point. I, I, I you spoke very well. You spoke. Can I just say this word? No, 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 no. So let me. there was a time. <laughs> yeah. There was a, actually, there was actually a time. She just she came to me and she was like, she just had a dream. She had a dream. She was on the sick bed. And no, no. Wait now. No, babe, no. Wait, I said, allow wait, can I finish? Me. So basically, <laughs> yes, I did have that dream in 2017. I had a dream where I was in a sick bed um, and I was so, I had just kind of like, um, you know, when you, you're, you're feeling very tired and a bit nasty from like, you're sick. So you just, you just feel awful. And then he came to me and was like, petting me and consoling me in, in the, the dream. dream. <laughs> I had that 2017 at the time we were not close and I, I was seeing someone at the time. And so, so you can't refer say? back to that. That did not say anything. That is just a dream. 
Babe, but you amplified it though. I never did. You I keep referring to the dream every time. No, not at that time. I said it only once to you. And I remember saying it because I was scared that you would think that okay. I was saying it because I wanted to force you into marriage. From the dream. You loved me from the dream. For oh. <laughs> <laughs> I loved you from the So you anyway, know what? back to it, back to it, babe. 2019, you had, the thing is, we had a time when things were not very nice with us and I just couldn't keep going back to my parents for money and stuff. And yeah, to an extent, I, I do like to appear nice. I'm a, I'm a girl. I'm a girly girl. I like to do my hair and makeup and all those things. And, and Thank nails. you for corroborating what I said. Yes, yes, you, yes, you're oh. right. You're right with that one. I, I did want... I did, um, so do you think I was right oh, dragging Lord, the marriage? Let me speak. Do you think I was right dragging the proposal? Do you no, think I was right? Can I just finish, please? And so... Um, he... Oh, God, I forget where I was. Okay, yeah. <laughs> So he had my back and he would make sure that I had my nails done and my hair done and everything else that I didn't have money to do prior because, you know, things were just a bit rough with us at that time. And we just done a show that didn't go well. And so he, he had my back and I, I just had never had that before. I usually dated guys that would give me money and like take care of me, but not to the, not like pray with me, have my back and, you know, all of those nice things. And he did that. Imagine, I'd never had a guy tell me, let's pray. I've always had a guy tell me like, oh, what are you doing now? Or oh, where are you now? In and other words, let me finish. I'm a complete no, babe, package. No. Can I finish? Babe, babe no, babe, no, honestly, you, you're not letting question, me speak, no. Babe. We need to move to the you next question. You don't let me, I, I, I said it when I knew you were the one. Okay. Because now I'm like. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in that. So 2019 ending, I told my mom and then on the 1st of January, 2020, he doesn't remember because, you know, it's a guy. He said to me, he sent me a vow, um, seven vows of him being a better partner to me at that time. So I knew that this man is gone. No, because I already saw your signs. I needed to there just was no help signs, you. Babe. I needed to help you come no, out of it. He didn't help me because oh. you already knew that you were already in. And, and, and again, that's exactly. You knew I was the one since 2019, not 2020. Babe, continue. You knew because... Yeah, don't if talk I about mine. I already spoke <laughs> about mine. <laughs> if I spoke to anybody else, he'll be jealous. But then he knew. And so after the vow, I just knew he was the one. And so 2020, everything that happened that led up to us being married, I knew, would, I knew that God had already put me in his life to, you know, be his wife. And that's how I knew. Even if he didn't let me speak, but yeah. That's how I knew. You have done well. <laughs> you have done well. <laughs> In what way has marriage challenged In you? In what ways uh, has marriage challenged me? And you? My husband is stubborn. And I know that I'm stubborn. Good but... stubborn, babe. <sighs> good stubborn. And you know what? With the faith that I believe in, very good stubborn. I, I will not say anything less than that. So he's very stubborn and he's very, like, set in his ways. Okay, so prior to us being close romantically he never used to share so i had to assume what he was thinking as to hearing from him and having someone that i i think was his background of like him just kind of like always fending for himself and you know just him and god him and god so he just didn't trust anyone as much at the time mm -hmm. and whereas i come from a family that we would have meetings that say say what you're feeling say what you're feeling and then we'll just you know so he didn't have that and then i had that so i was a sharer i would have things issues and then i would say to him say how you're feeling and he wouldn't say and i didn't understand that because i i didn't know how someone could, could not if i feel a pain if i feel a pinch i'm screaming like uh, my hand is about to fall <laughs> off but then my husband would feel that pinch i probably just lose the hand and I just didn't know that people could be that intense. So that was a, a challenge for me, him not speaking and telling me how, you know, he felt about things at the time. So it was hard for me to communicate with him. So all I kept doing was just love him through it, you know, and that was, that was one of the challenges. And I'm not going to lie. My husband is very easy to, to relate, like to be with. He doesn't really have issues. Like things that he likes are usually not less than a pound, like hundred. <laughs> like he likes things like Haribo. Like he's to hand, I don't have an issue handling him. 
I'm, I feel like in character wise, I'm a lot more complex than he is. Thank you. That was going to be my point here. Oh, thank you. You, you actually you see took how, the word you see how I'm out being of honest. my mouth. You see how I'm being honest. You took the word out of my mouth. So let me. That should be my starting so, point. So there. let me finish, and then also he's a very, um, he's very. I, I'm a, I'm a giver. I love to give. I feel like that's that's my love language. I love to give. I rather give than receive. But then I met someone that's a lot higher than me. My husband can give me out and be like, just <laughs> stay with my wife for a while. Let her cook for you. And you know, that's how much of a, um, that's how much, he doesn't hold things daily. So I noticed that with money management, with so many things, he just didn't know how to. And yeah. if, if the money wasn't him, we'll probably not have what we have, or we'll probably not have food to eat. And like my husband would give everything out. So when I noticed that I had to, so all the money now had to come through me and I had to handle things. As, as regards like our savings, our assets, our day-to-day -day living. So yeah, for the most part, that's the only thing I think that. Yeah, so my was... number one is the complexity. Um, so my wife is very complex. Oh God, my goodness. She's very opinionated. She wants like the strong woman I go married to. <laughs> she wants the blue to be blue and the blue must have a particular shade. If it goes the other shade, she's not doing it. <laughs> you know, and then for me, um, at the time, I was not very, um, should I use the word understanding? Or I, I, I don't see things from different angles. I also see things just from one view, just one, from one point. And that has been, that was a bit of challenge before we got married, you know, and that was the basis for our class. Oh my God, married. Where when I'm teaching a particular song, <laughs> she has a, a crew, you know, and they're like, "Why do you keep referring that, to this girl? Like, <laughs> are you sure that was what that was what Otto sang in that song? No, no, no I don't think that Otto like, girls. She be like, mm. you know what Otto sang? Then they all come out and be like, okay, that's the word they MD, sang. MD, MD, that's not what that's Otto sang, sang in that song. And I'm like, just, just allow me, <laughs> just allow me to teach the song. <laughs> you know, you're not the MD, music director here. You know, so that, that, that was the basis for our class, basically. And um, but getting into marriage, I began to understand and see things from different uh, points and also made her see things Your from way. different angles. Not my way, babe, but, but, but from I, different I angles. I just, but now she's very understanding. Maybe I promise I just pretend to see things. Like, I promise. I, you I'm, just pretend? I oh, my goodness, <laughs> I'm heartbroken, babe. I, I, I just, so, but the most part, if you pretend it. I pretend, I pretend. <laughs> I would lie because sometimes I like I wanted my like we had something this morning um, that made him upset and I know what I was thinking and he kept pinching to hear what I would say about it he kept pinching and so I wouldn't say it so I would just keep it in you know so uh, marriage. <laughs> that, was, that was one of the challenges guys. and the second one the one with money um, asset and everything thank God for for her in, in our family she manages the world now like for me won't be wearing uh, anything he, or shirts or tr trust me he would give everything out and and i i, I admit that i i like that anyway we don't really hold money with us we don't hold money as anything major we never argued about money yeah, or who has my money we've never we're very like if it if it's here it's here and you know i believe that money is our slave as to our master like i send money to do things for me not hurting it because it's my or worshiping uh -huh. it so I understand that, I understand his point where he doesn't hold anything. But I also, you know, I'm a woman and this is my family. And I have to always plan, you know, we have, we're going to have kids soon and all of those things are just things that, you know, I'm a lot more cautious about. But yeah, I like that about you, that not holding things to so daily, material things so daily. Yeah. So was there ever a time when we ever wanted to walk out of our marriage? There's, there's never, never been a time like that. And there will never be. This man is obsessed with me. If I if this woman is obsessed it, with me. <laughs> Actually, this, and, and the thing is, we don't really have like big fights. We've um, never had big fights. And I, I, I would say it's because we had the fights prior to us being romantically involved, that he saw all the trash, all the rubbish part of me. Not trash, baby. 
the rubbish and trash. No, no. Say it nicely. All the rubbish. All oh the my. not so nice areas. Of my wife. And of, we already trashed and it. <laughs> we, saw, <laughs> we saw all the not so nice areas about each other. And yeah. so, because at that point, we were not friends. We we're just acquaintances and just being cordial. So, there was no pretense. I didn't have to please him or impress him. Likewise. Um, yeah, at that time. Yeah. So, us getting romantically involved was like, I had seen the bad part. And now I'm now in the like, so oh. it was very easy to handle ourselves. So we don't really have arguments. And it's my friend. Like, even when I don't like him, I love him. If that makes any sense. Like, he's my friend. Has there been a time you don't like me? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes. In, in marriage, maybe. Oh, in marriage, yes. Don't like you. Of course I'm angry at you most of the time. Oh, wow. Most even of the time. when I'm angry at you, I still like you and love no, you. I, <laughs> no problem. I love you. <laughs> I mean, like, he's my friend. Like, we have the weirdest conversations. Like, we're friends. So there's all that marriage, all that lovey-dovey feeling that we have, all the butterflies and thing. But then when it's not there, he's my friend. You know, and, like, we discuss about the weirdest stuff. Uh, he's my friend. What's one word that best describes our marriage peace peace that's the peace. one peace like with us what you say is what you get and I've, I've heard that so many times i feel like if you meet us for the first time you you see that we're like chill like nothing's ever in a nothing's ever seen yeah so with peace. Us. and peace. even most times when we pray um it's the number one thing point. That, yeah that we keep praying for yeah as to money and everything else peace peace have I had to sacrifice anything for my relationship? Okay. Sacrifice I've made? Um, oh, yeah. So, I used to live in London. Baby, is that, is that a sacrifice, though? And... Um, Why go there? I love London. I love the hustle. I love the feeling. I love... Simple things that I can do in London that I can do back home in Nigeria. And... Um, I love London, so I just always wanted to kind of come back here and leave here. My husband has refused to come back to the UK, to leave in okay. the UK. So can I talk about my own sacrifices now? And um, that's a sacrifice. I'm, I'm itching to. So personally, um, I love I love cars. Ah, you know, this is mad. Allow me. <laughs> <laughs> so I love cars, gadgets and everything. Do you know something? Left for me, and um, the three years we've been married, I would have... Um, we should have gotten like three cars every year left for me that's like by now we should have nine cars but no where is the parking space but no we have just one car one car and one other small smaller car and you know and that's marriage i have to sacrifice because she's like why do you need that's cars? not a sacrifice no babe that that's my own sacrifice babe i feel like a car is a liability Okay. I rather buy assets. No problems. A lot of it. I will go back to Nigeria and sell your car. Oh yes, please sell it. I don't even like it. God gave me a driver. <laughs> God gave me a driver. I'm okay. I, I like it. Yeah, but there's been so many sacrifices. Um, Do you think? From both ends. Yeah. Do you think? Like the littlest thing that we cannot even imagine. I tell like you, what? Like when we travel to France, most of the things you order, I don't like them. I didn't like them, babe. That's what I'm saying. That it's I'm, no I'm sacrifice. Just, no, that's that's preference. Are, those are sacrifices. I have to eat them because you <laughs> love them. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like those. <laughs> I love... How oh, could this part is embarrassing me? I love salmon. But I don't. And my, my mother feel like it's raw fish. It's not raw fish. It's not salmon. But then I, I have to eat it because so now I want the, peace in this marriage. So on the plane, I, I wait for... Okay, shout out to... Okay, I can't say the plane. Um, on the plane, I like salmon. So whenever I get the menu, I always order salmon for both of us so I can eat his. Last time we're coming, this man said to me, I'll eat my salmon. <laughs> I'm like, why are you eating someone? I ordered it because I can eat yours. So yeah, um, that's, that's a sacrifice. That's a sacrifice, my love. Okay. Yeah. I feel like marriage changes you in the sense that you, it's not, I don't see it as sacrifice. I see it as, I see it as we just kind of adapt. We kind of merge to one person and then we start to 
prefer things. I, I start to like things that he likes. His best food is rice. I never used to like rice. And now I don't, what I mean, I never used to like it. Like I used to, I have other things that I prefer. I don't really prefer anything as to food, but now I, I have to make rice at least once a day because that's his best food. So it's not sacrifice per se. It's just that. But for I'm, me, for me, it's sacrifice for me. Her love language is words of affirmation. No. Words of affirmation, babe. Not not just that. I feel like I, I like all five of them. You like you, quality time as well. You like quality time. All the Friday... Uh, I do like Love it. Fridays and everything. Yeah, so, so we have a date every Friday. Date night. Date night. You know. oh, I love that. So she, she, she loves gifts. Mm, but really make them expensive. No, how about I but like to make them expensive. You like to. I don't like giving you gifts like that, but but isn't that one of your love languages though? No, gifts, material stuff. But babe. I know that the, the top one on the list is words of affirmation. You know, um, every morning I text this beautiful lady, even though she's beside me. I text <laughs> yeah, her yeah. every morning like, you know, I just love you, the way your body is so warm and everything. And she would just go like... <laughs> I know we had to catch What's this lady. I know we had to catch this lady. <laughs> <laughs> even, even when she's even when she's angry at me, I know what to do. I know the buttons to press. So words of affirmation and quality time, and I think I'll put gift as the, as the last one. Yeah. I, I'll put gift as the last one. What do you think mine, mine, mine are? I don't think that isn't the. I think that you like support. My husband likes when I support him. Um, and I do support him, and I, I okay, I, I, I don't want to go spiritual, but I, I really feel like a woman is the helper, is the helpmate of the man. And I know that I'm put in his life for that reason. And prior to us, I don't think your, your, literally your love language was um, support me, supporting you and, you know, but now over time, because I've because I've been that wife that always supports him. When I don't support him, or when I, when I'm not on his side, he can't imagine it. It's like, how dare you not be on my side, or how dare you not support me? Um, so I think that support from his wife. And I think mean, that's your. You like words as well, but not as much as yeah. Because I send him reels. You know, you know. Okay. <laughs> You know all these reels online when they're like, I've never loved anybody, those reels, and then, then they'll put a song to it, like, and eh, all these kind of romantic songs to it. I love them. I, I'm a, I love love. So I send them to him, and this man doesn't reply. Well, so for a long I time. I reply, babe. I feel like now I understand why you don't reply, because there are a lot. I can send like six, five, in, just in the morning. Just not in the morning, babe. <laughs> just just like, in an hour. Just in one hour. But she the, sent the, like the thing five, about, six. The thing about those reels, the, the algorithm knows that you like love. So they like pile it up. So when they, so when they have like one, they say like five under. And so those five under, I just forward, forward, forward. So how forward. do I respond to that? <laughs> and this man just looks at them like, oh, or leaves it. And then, so, but now he's very smart. I love it. So if I send him five, he put like the hats to all the five without the five. even opening yes. it. I don't need to open. So that, that's good enough for me. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> Ranking the love language. If I'm ranking it, um, how he, like I said, his number one is support. Then give. So where does that fall? Where does the support fall in uh, under the love? What you language? say is, what you say is, acts of service. Yeah, I think that's it. Act of service. So yeah, so I would say he, for the ranking, he's um, acts of service, which is supporting him. Um, he likes gifts. You do like I gifts. Do. He likes gifts, and you know I didn't have his money, so I, I don't buy him as expensive gifts as gets to me, as it gets me. Hmm. But then one thing I have is I, I'm, quantity. I'm I can buy anything. a ton of cheap things, and we're good. <laughs> I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> so I, I can buy I, I buy him gifts a lot, um, and not really cheap gifts, but I just um, like to buy him things because he likes things, and sometimes it's not um, his taste is not very expensive. As to mine, um, he likes like things like small things, maybe like a wristwatch, like things that just really um, make him happier, not very. But my things that make me happier, you know, you know, so um, for the most part, 
So collectively, it's, it's um, acts of service, gifts, and then words of affirmation. Do you even like that? I do, babe. You do? Well, yes, it's words of affirmation. Um, what's the other one again? Quality time, gifts. There has to be something before gifts. Yeah. Act of service, babe. You, you, you do like, like I, that. I like because you. Imagine my wife making a post on social media and her husband's like and comment is not there. Hey, there'll be war. War. You know, so but she's looking out for, even if she has like 500,000 comments on yeah, that post. Because and uh, my, my comment is not there. She's like, but that's the thing, what though, did I do? Did I, I offend you? No, because I'm always trying to, imp I, I think you must understand, I'm always trying to impress him. And even if it's been years and years, I find myself always trying to impress him. And it's, I don't know why, but I just, even the way I talk, the way I look, I just want this person's validation as to everybody else. So everybody can be like, oh, you're stunning. I'm like, no, my husband didn't tell me that. I so think I should it. pull the act of service from that point, bring it to the top. Because <laughs> I know how you feel. Yes, like yes, that. yes. I do like that. All right. Is our marriage what we imagine it to be? I think for you it is. Or is it still getting there? Don't answer for me. Answer for yourself. Okay, for me, um, what I imagined it to be, I think it's even way more than I imagined it to be. It's way more than that. Um, personally, for me, marriage is just, okay, um, two people are, are in love, they have their own separate businesses, just go about their thing, come back, make babies, have a good time. But what I've seen in the past three years and counting, it's been way deeper and way much lovelier than that you know but i think for my wife it's the movies no. the movies so kind basically, of love okay so basically i never thought that i would be this happy in my marriage and my love um what's the word now standard was based on movies like i wanted i said to my mom and my family everybody knows my house i said i wanted like a movie kind of love I wanted my husband to love me so much that he would die if I wasn't there. Oh yes, I said that. I said it. And I wanted, and I, and I know that somewhere, someone was praying for me to get that thing. I wanted my husband so obsessed with me that he could not literally move without me. And I got that. But did I ever think, you know how you like wish blindly, like just hope that it happens. I do have that and better. Cause this man is obsessed with me. Like, you know? But I would say this, I never ever thought that I would be this happy. I wanted that kind of Same love. Here. I yes, I Same here. yes, I never ever thought that I would have that this much peace that I have, that it would not feel like I'm in you know how we think of marriage like back in the day, like as being oh, this person for yeah, you're just trying to yes, I did just trying to live I each did, day. Yes, I did wish for movie love. What I did not see coming was how happy I would be when I get the love. So however I felt at that time is nothing. The happiness and peace I, compared I have Compared to now what we experience right in it. Compared. Like someone has my back for life is bigger than I love you, pull down your hair and, you know, all those nice things. This, the reality of now, I, I couldn't imagine it. I couldn't. What's my favorite thing about marriage? Someone having my back. Same here. For life. For yeah. life. Yo. Yo. <laughs> if, I, <laughs> if I want this, I get it because my man will go and get it. Come, my husband, my husband doesn't play. If I want something. Yeah, me too. Yeah. If I want something, regardless of the time. I'm getting breaking it. every wall to get that thing. She's so having someone that has your back for life is the best feeling. Does, hmm. it, does my faith, does our faith, Make our marriage stronger. Makes our marriage the strongest. The strongest ever. I feel like everything that we do, we know that we are accountable and there are consequences for our actions. And we, we hold ourselves. God is in it. I can't. I can't See, this it, is. It, it makes it. Anytime I talk about it, I, I, I get. We do. Um, goosebumps in. It makes it stronger. It makes it the strongest. It's the. You know, there's someone I always report to. Yes. I don't have to like go anywhere. I'm like, oh God, see this, there's, see that. There's someone I always report to. And the fact that 
the joy that our faith is in sync even makes it more um, more beautiful. You know, there was a time, let me give you a short story. There was a time right here in London, we were supposed to fly business back to Nigeria. I gave this story to someone. Uh, everybody would think I'm so expensive. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> babe. No, it's just the comfortability. So we <coughs> always fly business and um, first class. And at this time, what we did was the one one leg was business, yeah, and the other leg was I think premium economy there about. So we're supposed to upgrade it, and at the time, we weren't able to upgrade it. We didn't have enough pounds. We didn't have enough pounds and in the account to to do the upgrade. So it was already few. A day to the a day to our flight. A day to our flight back to Nigeria. Back sorry backstory, I don't like flying. Um, I have a phobia for flying, and before now, I would have like all the pulse things, you know, everything tied to me from flying. And so whenever, whenever I fly, he makes sure that I'm 100%, I can lie also, down. Yeah. I can, yeah. So hence the, yeah, the yeah. agitation and everything. So I was like, okay. I started panicking. To, started panicking. A day to, I couldn't a day sleep. to the flight. She couldn't sleep. She was like, what's going on, babe? How are we going to get this upgrade? And I'm just, just relax. Deep down, I was like, okay, so how do we get this? I was like, just relax, don't worry, we'll get it sorted. Then she was in, like, in the living room. Then I went into the room um, the night before the flight. I went to the room, I, I knelt down by my bed, and I'm like, I said, God, the wife you gave to me needs this flight, this ticket to be upgraded. I don't know what to do. What do we do? Real life story. And then I, I was like, you know what, just settle this. I don't know what to do, just settle it. I know you can. Then I went back to the living room. I was like, babe, don't worry. Tomorrow we'll fly business. You know? Me? <laughs> I was, I didn't sleep. She, did, she couldn't sleep. I didn't sleep. So we got, to the, we got to the airport and I told her, don't worry, approach the lady by the... No, he said, because usually I, there's where you can check in for the e flight and then there's the business side. And then my man said, go, go to the all business. the way to the business. I'm like, how? Do you have those tickets with you? Yeah, so I just said go all the way to the business side, and she went there. She was like, okay, so we needed to we need to make, do some upgrade and everything. I'm like, okay, this this is the amount that is needed to do it. And I just opened my phone like I like there was some money there. Yes. I just opened my phone. I said, okay, how much is it? I'm how like, this money is too Nigeria for me. I was like, <laughs> yeah, I, I, just, I said, how much is it again? So she, they said, um, few some few thousand pounds, and oh, that, that, that's that's okay. Could you please just do it just for my wife? I probably what we had was enough for one person <laughs> and he gave up the money for me so i was like could you just do it for my wife I, I i don't mind i don't mind the premium economy don't worry so my wife was like no we have to do it together i said okay okay that's fine that's 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 true. just do it for the both of us and when i opened my phone i don't know what happened i saw the money there so a real life story they had paid the money to him the day before without me without even, even knowing. knowing about it <laughs> and so he was able to pay for that again listen that is my happiest flight till day <laughs> i entered the plane i'm like what my life uh, no, 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 so no, no, going no. back yes. to the question our faith has made this marriage the strongest the happiest the loveliest the God, God is so good yeah. to us God is so good. I never knew that I had to rely on God for everything. As to him, my husband didn't have much growing up. Growing up, as that relied on him. But me, I I, I I feel like I'm very resourceful as a person. Very calculative. If I want this, I'm like, hey, everybody, gather around. Let's all contribute for this. I, you know. And so my husband didn't have that, but he went through life solely depending on God, and I had to learn that from him. And so in marriage. Putting God first before everything has totally sure. transformed yeah. us. Totally transformed us. Is there anything I would want to change going back in our marriage? Before the marriage if or? What's one thing that I would like to change in the marriage or? I don't think I have anything to change in our marriage because it's been absolutely epic. I would change something before the marriage. And I know that this would make him happy. Okay. I wish I met him earlier. Ooh. Drum I roll. Wish, I wish, I wish. Drum roll. Drum I, would, roll. I would never say this again. 
Finally. Well, finally. I, I, I wish I met him earlier. I wish that. Oh, I my wish. beautiful one. <laughs> oh, finally. I'm not okay. I'm not okay. <laughs> but I wish I met him earlier. I wish that. Because I'm, I'm so happy that it's scary. Like, I can't believe how happy I am. That I, I wish that I wasn't so unhappy. Prior. Prior. And I'm so happy now. Like, I, I, I wish I had this. I won't change anything in the marriage in the marriage i won't change anything going back before the marriage right now i won't change anything this lady is perfect and what we have is so perfect that i won't so see you, this one you you won't you won't you won't wish that you met me earlier no that's that you said you wish you met me earlier i already i've been saying it all the while but you refuse to admit it so this is not the time i'll so say are mine. you saying you either wish you met me earlier they stop putting words in my mouth. Let's continue. Are you saying you're not so happy? You wanted me all this while. I wanted you all this while so much, right from birth. I wish our parents were. <laughs> me too. I wish friends. that. You Actually, know, sometimes, sometimes. I, I, I think about it. Though. Yes, me too. Like, sometimes we always say, "Oh, no matter what, when we get to heaven, we we'll tell God, we we'll tell God, like, please just help please us. Help. Can we just stay married, please?" <laughs> 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 we always say that every time. But yeah. Um, how do we mar manage um, careers, yeah. careers and marriage and if conflict arises? Um, the good thing is, what I would say is we kind of know our place in marriage. We know, not, not in marriage, we know our place, like with yeah. things. So he just doesn't handle finances. He doesn't handle hotel bookings. Things like that. It doesn't handle. I don't even know anything about. Doesn't it. handle vacation site um, spots. Doesn't handle money. It doesn't handle day to day living. It doesn't handle all of those things. But things like because I work for him. Um, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Like our career path is so is aligned. So aligned that we are almost leave, waking up and going to bed for each other every day. So, mm. yeah, because I manage him so as well. So, I'm into hers, she's into mine, and so it's so, seamless. Yeah, and so most times when I have meetings, it's usually for uh, for artists or, like, I have meetings with, like, big labels and all those things. It's usually for him. And most times I always say, oh, I hope that um, your husband will be, oh, I hope that Victor will be there. And, uh, and most times he's next to me. And so, um, <laughs> you know, so we never really have the issues of clashing with work. Um, because, like I said, we both know our roles um, as regards career. Yeah, so even for concerning preference as, as regards the career, the things that I don't really like, or maybe she sees something good in it and she's like, okay, you know what, maybe why don't you just do this? She knows how to pull me out and just yeah, yeah. drive me right in. Yeah, so and, it's been and that's a good thing about marriage because everything that you do is for the other person's benefit. Yeah. Because you know what, you're linked. So I mean, I'm his manager. If I steal 100K from him today, and buy a house is still our house. I'm not saying I was still there. I'm just saying that. So do you everything... have hundred k somewhere that? Oh, I wish I did. But... <laughs> <laughs> I wish I did enjoy <laughs> Jamaica today. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so I wish that I am. Um, yeah. So everything that you do, for the most part, it's for it's because you're so in, you're so tied together that um, with us for work, if this won't make him happy, there's no way I'm doing it. And everybody knows me. So I'm very nice and friendly until it comes to my husband's comfort. I don't play because, you know, if he doesn't like this, he doesn't like it. What's our favorite um, Bible passage? Uh, um, Bible passage? Passage yeah. in our marriage. What's our favorite Bible passage? Um, what's it? Say it. Be still and know that he is God. So I used to have the worst anxiety. Once again, I'm a lot more complex than he is. Um, I used to have the worst anxiety. And I, I used to have so much anger. And I just never knew that I could be this person that I would be loving now. And now whenever I hear people speak about me, I'm like, is that me? Well, like, oh, you were so warm when I met you. And I'm like, me? Warm? Because I had so much stuff. Like, marriage healed me and... I think that that passage was something that I always had. So if you go on my bio, on Instagram and everywhere, you will see that there be still and know that he is God. Be still and know that he is God. So, yeah, so um, in our room, because that's 
personal to us. Uh, you see it right there by and the now, bed. Yes, and I'm afraid where the yeah, hell is. Where the, the, you just say, we see that is good. Give it to God and go to bed. Yes. You know, but when you come into our home, what yes. we want you to feel is love. Love, yes. So for everybody coming around, the scriptures we throw at you, or the scripture we throw at you is love it's is kind, kind love, love is, is patient, patient, and all that. So then personally for me, mine is... You have so many. John 3.16. That's his favorite. John 3.16 is my favorite. Because which, 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 which other <laughs> scripture in the Bible talks about love the way it does? <laughs> That's love there. Yeah. What is love to me? Um, God, and the thing is, I feel like God knew that I'm such a practical person. I, I, I like to see what I get as a person. And God put my husband in my life to understand him more. I would say I wasn't as spiritual or I wasn't as inclined with the Holy Spirit or I wasn't as inclined with my relationship with God. Until I met my husband, I had to understand that somebody could be that vulnerable to God. I never knew that. So, love is God. Like, God loves me. And I, love is God. I don't know. And, and I think that's it for me too. Love is God in action. Love is and every time God moves, love is expressed. You know, so that's it for me. And God has brought someone in his in human form. Yes. To also that's express yes, his yes, heart I for feel me. That as well. You know. So it's beyond the romantic or the romanticness, pardon for lack of better words. I, mean, I, I, I mean it's not it's, it's part of it too. But I'm just saying that it's it's way deeper than that, much yeah, course, deeper than of that. Course, of course. So love is God in, in action for me. Yeah. So, what do I see us in five, ten years? Two kids running around in our home. Um, they won't be kids by then. They won't be. They won't be, be kids. Listen, what even if it's only sixty years, as far as he yeah, has a friend, yeah, a kid. you're still my <laughs> child. So, um, I want kids running around. I want more love. If, if it gets more than this, I don't know if any, like... Yeah, so for me, um, I, I want younger people or younger marriages to be able to look up to us and be like, okay, Next you know five, what? ten years. Just beyond, beyond the social media, beyond what the surface level, deep down when they come closer to us, they are still in love and want to, want to um, epitomize and see that it's not what we, what and we really represent. and truly, yeah, really and truly. That's the thing about social media. Someone said that to me that does he really? I saw it. Like, does he really love her the way he loves her on social media? And I'm like, <laughs> listen, if I post it, what is really happening? You would leave social media for us, you know, because really and truly, marriages are so. Is it? It's a lot more acting these days, and I and I get that, but you must understand that there's still God in marriages. Yeah, and. Marriage is still it's work. It's still the happy place, trust yeah. me. Marriage so, is still living. So five, ten years, I want our marriage to be of more impact to other marriages. And 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 that's it. And I want God to be shown through us every time. Every time. To make every people time believe. Every time and you see us. You that's, must, and you that's, my, that's my call. To make people believe. Because I see so many people living in this belief. Oh, marriages don't, marriages don't work. Uh, and, and X, Y, Z. But I need people to understand. God working through us. Make people understand that. And make people believe in godly marriages. And that they are still fun. They're still amazing. They're amazing. Loving. And they walk. So again, so, and because I, I think people that are young these days not looking forward to marriage. Trust me, there's so much fun in marriage. As, as I think that the prayer should be let God be in the and let God direct your path. Like let God direct your path. I promise, it's it's amazing. God so is. five ten years marriage of impact to the world. Yes, and to people around us. Yeah. The world. What motivates what you? What motivates me to always choose love? It's a lot happier. It's a lot more. And I've been on the other side of not choosing love. Love is happy. I, love, 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 love brings peace. Yes. 
Love brings love, peace. If there is love, we won't even have problems in this world because love is patient, love is kind, love does not hurt, love is not jealous. Doesn't envy. Love does not envy. So basically, you're literally saving out all the rubbish and just... So you know something? Let me, give, let, me give, let me give an example. Let me give a story. I love stories. Um, prior to us experiencing this amount of blessings that God has blessed us with, Sometimes when my wife wants, when we go somewhere we are, we are to pay for something, my wife comes and she's like, you know what, this is the money here, just you pay for it. But at the time I wasn't very buoyant, so she, she puts the money in my hands and I'm like, babe, you go ahead and pay for it, I don't care who pays for it. So, you know, so her success does not intimidate me. Instead, I want her to shine even brighter. Do you understand? So. The love I have for her wants, wants her to keep shining, not the one that sees envy or the, not the one that is, um, what's the word now, that is insecure, you know? So any day I will choose love because it's peaceful. It's, it's just... It's safe. It's safe. Guys, it's terrible out there. It's safe in love, I promise. It's safe. It's safe. The world safe. is too wicked not to love someone and be loved. Yeah, so I choose love every time. Thank you guys for watching us. Um, I hope that you enjoyed our love story. For more inspirational videos like this, make sure that you watch PBN UK on YouTube. Like, like subscribe, subscribe, and share. share. Thanks for Thank watching. You so much. Thank Victor Thompson, you. Thompson and Henrietta Thompson. Henrietta Victor Thompson. Oh God.